Oh, hey, it's you. And again, it's me, Dr. Evan Esquire. I am here again from Science Explorers. And today we are going to be doing something within the framing of the mind text of reduce, reuse, and recycle. But honestly, I feel like reuse does not get enough love, I will say. What we're gonna be doing today, we're working with materials uh, that we're reusing, and we're gonna use that for a super fun activity that you can try at home with things around the house. Stomp rockets. Can't live with them, can't live without them, that's what I always say. And uh, I wanna kinda of get into the science of how those work. So, you have a stomp rocket, and the way it's working is you have a Kind of something filled with air over here and then you have the tube that connects it up to here and you have something that can fly off now air actually has some strength to it it's kind of how wind can really push you when you really squeeze air together you uh, you know you can really release some energy it's kind of like how you have a balloon and a balloon has a bunch of air in it and when you squeeze that air inside of there you get some release in energy. That kind of startled me louder than I expected, huh? The same thing is going on here with the stomp rocket. You have your container of air, and then you want to compress that air, and what that is going to do is push that in there. You could also think about it uh, in terms of Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there is an opposite and equal reaction, but I've always considered that consequences. Just to show you how this stomp rocket really works, let me see if I can get my Put up here to stop it. All right, that didn't seem to work too well. Let me, uh, there we go. All right, so the stop rocket, when you compress that air, it really releases some force. What we have in front of us is a mess. I agree, and we're gonna deal with it later because right now, I'm gonna show you how to make a stop rocket at home. What I would like to do is go over the materials that we will be needing for this activity. What you're going to need yourself is a nice little womp, 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 plastic bottle. Any old one works. Make sure it's clean, especially now. Right here, you're going to need yourself a straw. Bendy, better. Then you're going to need some tape, duct tape, masking tape. You could also use clear tape, but masking tape shows up better on camera. Another pro tip I like to use is having my tape already pre torn onto wax paper because you can peel it right off still sticky and you don't have to wrestle with it while you're in the middle of something am i right you're gonna need some scrap paper uh thinner paper better paper we are going to be taking our straw our bottle our duct tape uh. here's my scrap paper this is my to-do list from uh earlier i'll tell you we are going to cut this up into pieces that are two inches by five inches. That's a five. Grab a nice little ruler guy, wing and ding, uh, and you're gonna just measure it out. And I will say this does not need to be exact, but basically you're gonna be, you know, eyeing up, uh, let's see, where are, the, where are the inches on this guy? But what you're gonna do for that really is you're gonna kind of snip, 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 snip. So you might wanna snip up a couple of these. And what you're gonna do then is, it works really well if you kind of roll it up a little bit ahead of time. That'll make it easier to work with, but I like to use the straw and have it rolled up like this, rolled up like this, rolled up like this. So you're going to do that right there and you're going to, you want it to be nice and tight, but so it can still move. It doesn't need to be exact really. These things are pretty forgiving, I will say. You want to really seal up that paper. You wanna make sure that crease, that fold, where the paper comes back around on itself, you wanna make sure that's nice and tight because that has to hold in air. So now you basically made a paper straw to go on top of your normal straw. So you have your paper straw, and the last thing you're gonna need is another little piece of tape. And what you're gonna do with that, is you're gonna take that, and you're gonna fold it over the top. And you see just like that, you're gonna fold that and that's just gonna seal this whole thing nice and tight and there you go what this is right here is going to be the engine for your rocket you're gonna take your bendy straw what you just used to make your engine around 
All right, you're gonna take that and you're gonna get your sheets of duct tape. Now duct tape really does work best for this kind of thing, just cause it really seals up nice and tight. They use it for sealing ducks, not ducks. Maybe we can, uh, we can talk about ducks sometime. Pretty big fan of them. I like my mallards, I like my uh, wood ducks. Those are luxury ducks if you ask me. You wanna make sure you get a nice seal around the straw and the bottle. You wanna have them sitting nice and cozy with each other, hanging out, relaxing all cool, shooting some beef. So this right here will be your launcher. There we are. And bottle size doesn't matter. Bendy straw is preferable, but honestly, if you don't, works just as well. You can actually even test this out at this point. You can try putting your engine onto your straw. All right, and see how that goes. I already made some other ones. And what you can do with this now is you can get some, you know, other pieces of paper. I like to use some old printouts and uh, let's see, let's give this guy some wings. And I'll make that look a little bit nicer. Here you are, how you doing? All right. And what I can do with that is I can use that to tape the engines. Now these are gonna be kind of like wings, but you know, you can try a whole bunch of different ways to attach these kind of things. So let's see what happens when we have this guy like this. All right. And there you go, so that's attached like that. Then you could uh, kind of decorate it. I have this one right here that I made, and this guy has a little, little tail fin, and he's got the main wings, and uh, I like to kind of have a dull edge to the front of mine just to make sure if it pokes anything, it won't hurt it. Uh, also, I folded up a normal paper airplane and then put one of the engines back there. But as you'll be able to see, these puppies fly pretty good. And let's see, all right, now you got this on there. Oh, I'm looking at you, all right. There you go, it flies like a dream. Now this guy's been giving me a little bit more trouble lately, but you know, we can take our paper airplane guy and we can put that right on there. Three, two, one, there, there we are then. All right, so there's your little launcher guy. You can get him like that, you can get him like that, you can get him like that. This is a way that you can reuse things around the house that you know, otherwise we go in the trash or recycling to make something pretty fun. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed uh, our activity today, working uh, with uh, some stomp rockets, air pressure, and reduce, reuse, recycle. And uh, I hope you enjoy you got your engines right here, and you got your little stomp rockets, and then you got the little, uh, how you doing? Oh, whoop, whoop, uh, <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and sharing with our friends today. I love the feedback I get. And honestly, I would love it if you all took time to share. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Please like and share and do all those things you're supposed to do on social media. I don't get it. But I also would really appreciate it if you commented uh, in the comments below. That's how it works. With a photo of the rockets you make. I like my rockets. You're probably better at it than me. And as always, do not forget to be kind to each other because we all do our best when we all do what we can for each other. Woo! Bye-bye.